Okay, so here are the two mods that we're going to be installing today. One is the Ghostbusters Echo Goggles. The other is this Danger Flying Toy Sign on Aerosmith. And this one, the Ecto Goggles, uh, they go by the, uh, the Ecto display, and there's an LED that's behind that. And that's where this bulb would plug into to give power to this to the goggles here. So they velcro onto the uh, the actual mount over there to you know to stay on the the uh, the play field so you could see them. And again, it gets power from the LED behind it. So we'll show the install video on that. And the, again, the goggles are really detailed. They look really good. Uh, like all the hooked on pinballs mods they look really great he does a great job they're really high quality like the way that he sets everything up they're really easy to, to install so that's the first mod this mod is the aerosmith like the signs the sign mod and this gets mounted on a playfield as well we'll show the location of where that goes and this is a pretty straightforward mount you know it's got the little tab on the bottom here that the screw would go through and it's basically just display it doesn't light up or anything like that but it gives a little gives us a little more like detail to the play field. So these are the two mods that we're going to be installing and again they're really easy to install which is great in my book. I like easy mods to install. So uh, no, these both these mods should take you know under five to ten minutes to install. So let's go to the install video and check out both of these for the Aerosmith and the Ghostbusters Ecto Goggles. And again we're installing both of these. This one is going on a LE, the Aerosmith. And the goggles are going on a Ghostbusters Premium. And on a Pro, I guess you would find a location to install these because this goes near the goggles, the, the Ecto Plasma display, you know, with the hologram type of uh, display. This goes near, you know, near that mod, and that's not on the Pro. So you would have to find a location to install this on a Pro. But it would be the same kind of install, you know, to get the power to the mod. So again, let's go to the video and check out the install. Okay, so here is where the Ecto Goggles mod would go on top of that Ecto Goggle uh, video display here, where my finger is, go on top of that plastic. And I also have his protector over the mirror that um, Hooked on Pinball creates too, which is a great mod. I have a video of that install as well. And um, it's this plastic piece that kind of conforms over the whole protector of the mirror here. So in the mirror, if you get an air ball, it doesn't shatter that glass of the mirror. And it looks really good too and it fits really well but the ecto goggles would fit up here so this is what it looks like without the ecto goggle mod and here it is with the ecto goggle mod installed on top of that and it, it looks really good it's really professionally done and it lights up like a green led inside of there and let's look behind the actual ecto goggle mod to see how you actually install the ecto goggles to the uh, the top of that whole structure over there. So this is a close up of the mod. So we saw it how it looked when it was on the counter as a stand, you know, just not hooked up to anything. Now you have the cable that runs back here, and this cable goes to the back. And you remember there was a bulb on the back of that. There's an LED bulb that could get my camera in there, right back here of the pinball machine where my finger is. It's hard to get the camera in there behind that ramp, but it's like right there. So the actual bulb goes into that and it actually gives power to the mod. So the wire runs back there to that. You would plug that bulb into that bulb in the back over there, into the, into the, you know, the bulb power thing, you know, the, what, what the bulb would go into. There's a name for it, and I, it's slipping me right now. But that's what the bulb would go into here. If I go like this, you could actually get a better view of that. So that's where the bulb goes. And I have it in test mode right now, so that's why we can see. In the test mode, it's, you know, to, to test out the mod, it's single LED test, ecto backlight. That's that's the name. CN16 is the, uh, the test that you would go to. And then for the mod, there's a piece of Velcro on the back. Just take off the Velcro, mount it on, and there's a wire tie, and you just tie up the wires here with the wire tie, and keep your wires clean and like out of the way, and that's it. 
and it's really easy to install. I love his mods, uh, hooked on pinballs mods. They're really easy to install. They look great, and uh, you should really buy it if you're a Ghostbusters. I think it looks great. Uh, he made like again, he makes some great stuff. I have uh, hooked on pinballs the tachometer on my NASCAR and a couple of other, other of his mods. And uh, again, they're really easy to install and they look really great. So. Um, so that's the mod. It's on his web website and his web page to order. Uh, I'll put a link in the notes of where to get it from. And yeah, and that's really it. Next, we're gonna do a install of the Aerosmith sign that goes inside on the playfield. And that's another easy, really easy install of the mod. But again, this mod took me five minutes to install. So stay tuned for that in this video. And that'll come up next. Okay, so now we're looking at an Aerosmith LE pinball machine, and you can see in this area right here where my finger is. Right there. This must be a sign that I showed in the beginning of the video that we're going to put to kind of, you know, add a little something to that space right there. And it's another sign by Hooked on Pinball. And it's going to kind of change the play field a little bit. So let's install it. And the way you install it is by just removing the screw that's on top of that post. And there's a little bracket on top of this, or under the sign, I should say. That will the screw will go through to fasten to that post. So now here's the sign installed on the playfield, and basically what you're doing, like I said before, is that you're taking that post to screw off the top of the post, and just putting the sign. There's like a L-shaped bracket here, and it just goes onto the post, and then this sign kind of fits over it, and it actually works really well because you see the lighting that's here kind of goes through the sign, and uh, kind of. Is transparent in a bit and it kind of makes the sign turn different colors as well so it's actually a really cool mod and it's really easy to install which I really like on any mod so uh, so yeah so again this is by hooked on pinball as well and this was installed on an Aerosmith LE pinball machine and um, it's really good I mean for a simple type of sign and for what it is you know it works out really well and it kind of just covers some of that space up that's in there and kind of adds a little bit to your game. So, highly recommend it. Again, Hooked on Pinball makes some great mods and I have some of his mods on my games and again, every mod that I have, they look really great. So, I will put a link to this sign in my post, in the, in the notes of the post and kind of, you can link to that and buy the mod from Hooked on Pinball. So again, thanks for watching my videos, really appreciate it. You can watch all my videos at www.pinballsupernova.com. You can go to the blog posts, the YouTube page, the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all from the uh, homepage, you can link to it. So again, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Keep up the subscribers on the page, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.